fascinating uh, innovations of web3 uh, and there are two uh, elements to it the decentralized element and the autonomous element organization of course is something we already know a dao is essentially run on a blockchain mm-hmm. as an organization where people come together uh, mm-hmm. and interact with each other through the rules laid out by the smart contract so there is a scope right. for uh, you know decision making beyond that but within the confines mm-hmm. you can choose to uh, agree to work whichever way you want Right. The simplest implementation is say a VC fund. People put money into this smart contract on a blockchain, which is not a person, which is not even a legal entity. It's uh, algorithm. So if some new company says, uh, I've got this cool new satellite uh, imagery technology and I want to get funded from this fund, DAO fund, that would be a proposal, which right. then the owners of that fund will own directly vote on. So, you know, it's very flexible. uh very uh, flat in terms okay. of hierarchy okay. and uh, very user control i think that's okay. the sacred thing man private key public key pairing is at the heart of what makes uh, cryptography work and in okay. turn what makes blockchain work let's say i need to pay you 1 lakh rupees now so okay. i send you a check of 1 lakh rupees Uh, you present it to the bank that presents it to my bank my mm-hmm. bank then verifies my signature on the mm-hmm. check cryptography what you do is replace all of this with uh, a private key to sign some data in cryptography the public key is visible to everyone by definition private key is visible only to the signer the check for example has things like who am i paying how much am i paying what's the date on which it's written right it will create a unique string mm-hmm. uh, it can be created only by this combination uh so this means different things to different people uh, so i am interpreting it in the web3 uh, parlance uh value chain till recently meant things like uh for a business any business which could be even a manufacturing business what sort of uh, <coughs> elements is it adding value in to a given raw material to make it look finished product mm-hmm. uh in the web3 world it is a different uh, interpretation of the same term what it mm-hmm. essentially means is how do you transfer value without mm-hmm. central uh, counterparties what i mean by that is when you need to transfer a stock for example you need to work with msdf property you need to go to the government and say mm-hmm. i want to sell my property okay. same with money work with banks the web3 value chain operates without the need for any central party like this it changes hands uh, in a trustless manner without a central organizing party mm-hmm. so i not only order my food online uh, and without necessarily having to rely on a central party i also pay using a decentralized currency it's almost like handing over cash but through the phone or through the right. internet converting <clears throat> something into a finite hash of a mm-hmm. uh, 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 undefined uh, input right. the input can be simple text it can be like hello world for example mm-hmm. string like that or it can be like a 5 megabyte uh, document representing mm-hmm. my passport right. either way so uh, one of the ways to convert all of this into a sing string of uniform length is called the process of hashing it uh, public key cryptography is a step forward in that it is essentially uh, as i mentioned earlier the, in the private key context the public mm-hmm. key is the public counterpart of that mm-hmm.